I think that he does this thing where he like will play a game and even if he barely wins it the first game, going kind of slow, the next game he'll just hold full gas and you're just like, what the hell is happening? But here we are on PS2 again. If I have to see this whole set on PS2, I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I, I feel like get ready, get your tear ducts yeah, prepared, bro. Because in the, if, the way the last set went, the last four games, the last three games were on PS2. Game one was PS2, and game three, four, and five were all on this stage. So we might have another. Uh, we might have 14 games on this stage in total. <laughs> I, okay, okay. So something Bobo has already done that I hadn't seen uh, like the previous game is maybe sometimes when you're landing, just don't be reverse. Like even though you can be reverse left, right, like. Well, you can't really be reverse. Well, no, no, no. You're, you're, well, yeah, you're be reverse in the direction that you were not. Um, just landing with like back air is also really, really solid. Like especially if he's waiting for you to like change up your trajectory. He can get caught lacking with you just landing with a fast back air. Yeah, I mean, it feels like there are some really solid adjustments Bobo has made because he's at 120, uh, and he seems to be living pretty well right now. I, I feel like none of his landings have been mirror reverses yet. I, I, I think that's an interesting adjustment. So, that's the same thing. Oh my god, the second up smash actually comboed from that back air. I mean, the back throw. <gasps> Oh, that should have absolutely been death, but he went for the down smash instead. I think he was expecting Bobo to SDI out of it, maybe? I'm not sure why he opted for that particular smash attack. I like that as an option. I don't think we've really seen that ledge hop forward air. It's not something he can do too often because the risk involved is you die at, like, zero. <laughs> but nonetheless... It got him back on the stage that one time, and that's what let him even up the stock count. Granted, there's still a lot of work that Luffy needs to be doing, and this is, you know, he has to be doing this work against a snake. Bobo Snake, who is, I mean, we've already seen what this guy does when he has a stock yeah. count. I don't know if you saw that last interaction with the down throw. What he actually did was really interesting. He down threw him and then pushed his limbless body <laughs> into the C4 so that he'd roll backwards and tried to up tilt in that direction. You have to whip though, right? Huh? Yeah, it was. But the, the idea was really good. The idea was push him towards the C4, make him see the C4, and then cover the other option. All right, Luffy actually yep. taking that stock, and evening it up immediately, though. We now have 0-0 zero, zero in Game 1 of Grand Finals. These two have been kind of going blow for blow. It feels like neither one of them can really find a, you know, that footing that can't be dislodged. Nobody is invincible yet. That was a really far air dodge. Oh, not respecting the C4. I think he forgot it was there. And that actually alleviated all the pressure. Bobo now on stage. Let's see what he can do. Oh, great SDI to get out of it. Maybe manages to get to this, uh, the ledge. To continue the ledge trap. Let's see if he can actually close it out. Luffy is trapped here. Not able to find a way. Oh, man. Runs right into his shield and goes with a late, late grab. I'd like to see Bobo take the Nikita and immediately go ledge with it. Oh, the up smash! The up smash again, that's it, yeah. Nah, he was dead. He he, he didn't get his jump back, so the up smash... He, he immediately, he, he knew, he, he air dodged the blast zone. He yeah, was like, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's, a, that's a wrap. No jump, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Good stuff to Bobo right there. It felt like that was almost slipping out of his grasp, but then he got into, you know, just bunkered down. Yeah. Dug I say this a trench in front of I him. I love Bobo's sweater. This sweater is sick. It's actually kind of become like classic Bobo. You know how like Noku has like shirts that he wears, the the, the Goku shirt, and it's just like there's like a couple of shirts that Noku wears. Uh, Ling Ling always has a sweater he wears. I think this is like Bobo's sweater now. Like this is what he wears to tournaments. I mean, it is sweater season. I have my first. This is the first time I'm busted out the sweater. All right. See, town is where I'd like Luffy to go almost every time. Like, if he's allowed to go to town, I expect him to go to town. I'm surprised this was not banned. I wonder what stage was. That's it true. felt like this stage was really, really good for him last time. Yeah, there's more horizontal space. He gets to, like, run away after he traps you. And you die super early off the side. 
that being said, it feels like Bobo also using this stage to his advantage. 108% and Luffy kind of struggling to make it back. Oh, what a roll though. Yeah, that roll is interesting because he knows that's what Bobo's going for. Like, he knows that Bobo setting up with, with the up smash at ledge is really him just trying to bait you into a roll. It's like, I'm going to cover neutral get up, but I'm really looking to react to your roll. He landed on the C4 and got blown up for it. Let's see it. Let's see if Bobo can hold on to this lead and make it run up now. Oh, no, he got caught on ledge. That, that'll be all she wrote. Once, this is actually almost identical to what happened last time in terms of evening up the, the, uh, the stocks. At that point, Bobo managed to be in control from that point on, and it seems like it's kind of where we are right now. 71% already dished onto Luffy, trapped at the ledge. I also like the fact that Bobo is going for moves that are putting him at the ledge. It's things like back air. He's not, you know, launching him above him anymore. He's like, no, I am going to put you in the corner and keep you yep, there. Yep, ledge trap is, is, is Bobo's preferred route to victory in this matchup, and it is working. Oh, the, roll, the tech roll in was... was a little ill-advised, but I think Tech Roll Out was also covered by Holy Water. Up air gonna take it. Oh, we have Luffy looking pretty good right now. Managing to take that stock. Let's see if he can actually do anything with the stock lead. Last, we haven't really seen him be able to carry a stock lead to any uh, meaningful, any meaningful distance. Oh, so far this set at least. Up tilt gonna take it. It's low. High enough percent that that's just guaranteed. I mean, I think if you're living to to, to down throw up till uh, percents against Snake, you're probably doing okay. Yeah, yeah, especially in this kind of matchup where there's like it's, it's extremely volatile. People can die really early. There's certain matchups where I think it's to be expected where you're trying yeah. to down tilt up tilt or down throw up tilt rather. Uh, but this time around, you know, he's not dying at 80 at the ledge. Which, uh, I mean, that was happening to him last time around. That being said, once again, Bobo, in these, once he gets to the last stock, it feels like he comes alive in a brand new way. Yeah. That, oh man, Town and City really coming in clutch for Luffy right there. You can absolutely see why this stage is good for him. The question is whether that extra mileage is going to be able to really help him. It does! The stage! Absolutely working out. Not only do you have the higher blast zone, meaning that up tilt and kill, but the smaller blast zones on the side guarantee that that forward air took it. If Bobo doesn't ban that stage, I'm actually losing my mind. I don't know what stage he is banning above it. Uh, that's the E. There's no way he's banning Smashville. Smashville is just Snake City. You put the C4 in the middle platform, and suddenly you're in control. Uh. Could be banning small battlefields. Three, Why? Go. Uh, I think maybe he's actually banning like the flat stages, like Talon or like um. It FD could, it, it could be FT Kalos or the bands. Yeah, banning FT Kalos. Yeah, I, I just yeah, 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 yeah. I called it. <laughs> um, all right, this is actually the strongest start we've seen from Luffy so far. Every other game has been you know Bobo opening him up at the start. Granted, last time around, he managed to make the comeback happen, but, okay, this is more what we've been seeing. Up smash, up smash, up smash. But, uh, oh, maybe a little bit too committal because the reversal hasn't happened, and now Bobo is the one trapped at the ledge. Can he manage to actually get past it? I love the use of up B right there, but Luffy still able and anticipating. Oh, that was the... Okay, okay. I love that mix-up, by the way. It ha... I I, I watch MVD do it all the time because he's watched a lot of MVD and he's done. It's forward tilt. Oh, he's stuck. He's not stuck. He's sticking. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that damage. So much damage. Oh, my goodness. The up smash connectors to the platform. But, yeah, that, that mix up is a tried and true. It's uh, F tilt one, you just wait and then you up tilt. Especially on a platform where they can't air dodge away. Like on the F tilt because they're still on the ground. Look at this, Bobo absolutely using this lead to his advantage. 96% onto Luffy. And an out to 32, even forward throw is not enough to take it. He needs to be getting like an aerial snipe or something like that. Yeah, I haven't seen many axes out of him, and I, I don't know what prompted him to stop the axe. Back are going to take it, though. Absolutely. 
It's no Dr. Mario, but it's a little something something. Yeah, yeah, man. Zoners that have GoPros. Ooh. But a zoner that has an up tilt like that, man. Ooh. Okay, this is actually really big, possibly. Oh, if this was Tarnit City, he might have died. <laughs> That, yeah, that, that would have been really insane equalizer for the different stage. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping for like six dash attacks in a row. Just get him in the loot. Oh, I think he was he, hoping he, the cross would hit him into yeah, the no, smash. That, that's what it was, but the problem is that he landed on the holy water at the top of it, so he wasn't grounded, so the, the cross just went under. Yeah, and it's the sort of thing where... Small little changes like that make a difference. And if you're Luffy, you have to be anticipating all of them. You have to be prepared for every single, you know, because I mean, he needs to take every hit all the way to the max. But when 158%, and his kill options at this point are once again like an aerial or maybe throw at the ledge once more. That was really dangerous for Robo to get hit by that cross, but he opted to guess that Luffy was going to cover a different option, not try to combo off the cross. That was really good, baiting him uh, into using the C4 and managing to actually even up the stock counts here, but, you know, for the most part, Belmont doesn't really have, you know, some crazy, oh, I kill you at 40 thing that, you know, Snake has on him. Oh, I might, oh, actually, hold on a second, I might stand corrected. Maybe not killing you at 40, but comboing him all the way to 90 at this point. Uh, Holy Water F Smash will kill if it lands. Oh! I am a, I am a curse. <laughs> I am a blight upon the land. The Seer. <laughs> that was from mid-stage, too. Yeah, no, I mean, it was definitely a win condition that he needed to play around. 100% had yep. to play around that win condition. I am cursed with the gift of prophecy. <laughs> so, okay, so there was actually so much good stuff there. He knew that, uh, he knew that Bob was looking for that, like, that C4, like, uh, coverage option. And he actually down aired and bounced off of Bobo, is why he didn't get hit by that C4. Luffy clutching it out. It's so good for him. And it's the sort of thing where. I also feel like that maybe stymied Bobo's momentum. As I say that, actually, hold on a second. This is the same situation we've seen time and time again. All right, all right. Do <laughs> just oh, what a trap right there! And his shield uh -huh. was so small. Also, I think he just forgot about it. There were so many projectiles. How could you have kept track of a tiny little C4 hanging out on the crease of the stage? Oh, the up B gonna take oh. it early? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, he's like, off the platform. He's like, you know, he hadn't gone for it the whole time. Oh, the rolling. Oh my god. My man could die. All right, I like that. Going for the Holy Cross in the other direction to maybe alleviate some of the ledge pressure, but none of that's gonna be the case. Bobo was always prepared for it, still managing to get through and sent him off once more. Finally, with a bit of stage control, let's see what Luffy can do. Throwing out all these projectiles. Oh, oh that's an up tilt for sure. Oh. oh! He air dodged because he like, could not believe that that up tilt didn't hit. Oh, okay, I like the idea of going for those, you know, oh, let me just, maybe I'll kill you at 40 options, but also I think that maybe just get damage where you can. Like, even if you die. Oh Back my god, never mind. Absolutely. Why? Oh, the C4, the C4, the C4. And this is it. This could be Bobo's last stock of the tournament. Last stock of the tournament, period. Luffy right now on the verge of taking it. Not only getting first, like, top eight at his, like, at on Encore, but winning the entire bracket. 55, 62% onto Bobo, and it's only growing even more. Yeah, I think. Is oh, that it? That's it. That is it. Wow. Ending with a two stock. That was Luffy. Solid. Actually, I think at the end there, I think Bobo became predictable because he was holding the holy water. And obviously he wants the holy water.